Hey everybody, I'm Orgle Thump, and this should be the end of my video walkthrough for Dark Romance, Romeo and Juliet. Getting really close to the end of the bonus game here. Let's see, I've got the amulet here, so I'll just drop it here to get the magical sword of magic and mystery. Hmm, yeah, that'll be a good magic sword, but I think I need something else. Let's see. Oh yeah! I totally forgot to take a look at this pouch. It's got a coin. All right, right, right. Okay, so I go down, back, back here, back down here. I use the coin to open this. Okay, gives me, give me some coal and this isn't actually coal. The tongs, tongs. It's tongs, so I can pick up one of these coals here. Painted circles. So this is kind of a difficult puzzle. It's not too difficult. It's just the controls are not the greatest. So what you're supposed to do is click and drag uh, the chains so they match. Okay, so come on, green. I am clicking on you, green. Please move. See how it only moved a little bit? It's just... Maybe these controls were designed for a touch screen or something like that. In any case, there we go. Yay! Got the controls to work. Okay, so what I, I need to do is just get these pieces around. No, 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 I'm not moving you black. I'm not moving you backwards. But no, no, blue. Blue, stay there. Okay, I'm skipping this puzzle. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, this gives me a rune. And I'm going to put these two runes here. Magic sword here. And uh, light these. So now it's a superpower magical sword. I can use it to cut through any magic barrier, including the one surrounding Francesca. Take this, Francesca! Release Romeo! And she gives me the final puzzle of the game. A pretty simple puzzle. What you do is you click to rotate the uh, wheels. Let's see. I rotate this wheel until everything's in place. Then I rotate the middle wheel until everything is in place. Then I rotate the inner wheel until everything is in place. Really simple. Work from the outside in. You haven't won yet! I've won. Thanks, Mercutio. Now, let's hurry to Juliet. Thank you, Mercutio. You saved us both. We owe you our lives. You're a dear brother and a friend. I just hope that this is the last we hear from Gaspar and his family. Mm, you did well. You know, you have a lot of talent, young man. What would you say to being my apprentice? You'll make an excellent magician. Ah, I sure would. Okay. So that's the end of Dark Romance, Romeo and Juliet. Let me see. I want to see the credits. Let's see who made this game. Okay, so while the credits roll, I guess I'll just talk about this game in general. What did I think about this game? I don't know about this game. I mean, the game is okay. It's just... It's called Romeo and Juliet, and it is clearly not... Romeo and Juliet, if that makes sense. This this game has barely anything at all to do with Romeo and Juliet, and it seems kind of strange. Like, it has nothing to do with the Shakespeare play, besides the fact that the two main characters are kind of named after that, and, and, and there's a balcony, and that's basically it. Um, then it turns into a game about evil magicians casting spells, and, and uh, the magic tapestry, and then we have to join forces with the Gypsy King to stop the evil magicians. And it turns out that um, Leonardo da Vinci was actually a woman the entire time. Actually, that was kind of interesting.
interesting. That was really interesting, actually. That could be a game in itself. Uh, the adventures of Leonora da Vinci uh, posing as a man uh, in order to, uh, you know, do her fantastic, fantastic uh, scientific achievements. Speaking of achievements, the game just threw achievements at me. So let's see what these achievements are. Okay, so we've got achievements here in the extras room. So, amateur poet, master of sonnets, playwright. Okay, so, general things, you know, finishing hidden objects puzzles quickly, hidden objects puzzles without using hints, uh, mini games without skipping. Oh, that's good. Only use quick travel once. That's a hard achievement to get, but I got it. Haha. <laughs> General achievements for doing things that you have to do in order to beat the game. So I think the final ones are the ones I couldn't do. Uh, are It's uh, play the entire game on hardcore mode. So that would be no skip button, no hint button. Ouch! And uh, finish a hidden objects puzzle only using uh, match three. Did not get that. So I got all the achievements. Minus two. Minus two. Pretty good for me. Let's buy more stuff. Festive table. I do like the graphics for this game. The graphics were nice, and I did like some of the, um... Uh, the puzzles. The puzzles were nice, too. I don't know. I was expecting a Romeo and Juliet story based on the title, and this was not a Romeo and Juliet story. <laughs> they both lived. They didn't. They didn't kill themselves. That's not Romeo and Juliet. That's 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 something else. Oh, I missed two of these things. I missed Merchant of Venice and King Lear. Okay, Julius Caesar. Men can be masters of their fate. We burn daylight. The world's most famous Shakespeare quote. I have them at my fingers' ends. Come what may, time and hour runs through the roughest day. So why so young, they say, do never live long. He wears his faith. Okay, so these are just random Shakespeare quotations. Have you said your prayers tonight? Does, 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 have you, have you, have you really? And the masks, the mask which we found throughout this game. Various Shakespeare characters. Uh, Laertes? Oh, he's from Hamlet. Okay. Characters from Romeo and Juliet. Tybalt, yay, he was the angry guy who, who, who fought a lot. Mercutio, killed by Tybalt, I believe. Yep, so that's more about the play, in case you're wondering about the play. Uh, hmm, the Tempest, stranded on a desert island with her father because they are hermits. Oh, those poor people. Life must be difficult for them. They have some wallpapers. Wait, what is this? That was not a scene in this game. That, that looks interesting, huh? Oh, I wonder why that wasn't in the game. Oh, that was in the game, and that was, that was, oh! Gaspar, you evil man. And, um, okay. Hey, Leonora. We never got to see her again. She just kind of disappeared after after she gave us the address to her house and then disappeared. And then we never saw her again, and it made me sad. This is a scene we also never got to see, too. What's, what's going on here? Wow, these wallpapers are... <laughs> Either the art team is just having fun, or we've got scenes in this game that weren't originally there. Oh, wow, and the cat was a different cat, too. Yeah, okay. Um, wow. Ugh, ee, ee. I, don't, I don't like that guy. He's bad. Well, this could have been an interesting... I mean, this was in the game, but it would have been kind of interesting to see him on his horse. Romeo hanging out at home, being boring. Hermio hanging out at the wedding, being boring. Okay, engagement party, engagement party, not the wedding. Okay, so uh, I'm going to end my video walkthrough here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me play Dark Romeo, Dark Romance, Romeo and Juliet.